Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we are going to be talking about how do you smoke and stay productive? How do you smoke and stay healthy? Can you, is it possible? Um, a lot of people ask like, do I smoke? And how much do I smoke? How do I do it? How do I balance it? So that's exactly what today's video is going to be. So I wanna give you guys a little bit of a backstory. I used to smoke a lot, like every single day, back before when I started to work out. So back in like early 2017, around that time I was smoking and I smoked prior to that. Pretty much my only objective was to wake up and smoke and then eat later on and I would just have like a bunch of bad foods and that's literally all I would do every single day is just wake up and smoke and I just really had no priorities, goals, none of that. I actually thought it was like a passion of mine and yes I did love it but I wanted to like make it my 100% career, that's all I thought about, I wanted to write a book, ab <clears throat> a book about it and, and that's fine and all but I really didn't do anything else but that, like there wasn't anything productive or good coming out of it. I remember I, I don't wanna say I was addicted, but I loved it so much. So as I explained in my fitness transformation story, I completely quit on my own. I said, you know what, I, I have to give this up because I tried to balance it. I had no self-control and literally all I could do for myself because I wanted to change my body so freaking bad. I wanted to love myself. I wanted to feel confident. That's all I wanted. So I was willing to do anything to reach that goal. So me giving up weed, it was just like, okay, you know, if that's what I have to do, if that's what's stopping me from reaching my fitness goals, then that's what I'm gonna have to do. So I completely quit. So at this point I was working out for six to seven months. I already saw what consistency can do to my body and it really was a passion at this point working out. So I remember I started smoking again when I was working in a warehouse job. One of the jobs that I got to save up money to move and I met a lot of friends there and you know I started smoking again. And I remember after I left that job, I actually quit smoking because I started getting negative effects from it and I explained this a couple times before, but I I just had to stop. Like it started making me anxious and overthink a lot. And maybe it was just the people I was around or just the strains that I was smoking. And then after that, I moved out to Vegas. And after I'd say like half a year, I got my medical card out there, which was really cool because you could pick and choose the strains that you want. And But yeah, so that's the backstory and now we're here. So with how much I smoke now, I would say it's on and off. Um, I don't do it all the time um, and not as near as much as I used to. I don't even like the feeling of being like super, super stoned unless I'm like by myself, all work is done, I feel super good. Yeah, so let's get into the tips. I think I have four or five, maybe six tips that I'm gonna give to you that will help you stay productive, be healthy, and smoke weed at the same time. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so tip number one. Tip number one is to set rules for yourself. So if you have goals, whether it's going to the gym more, not sleeping as much, waking up earlier, whatever the case may be, going to the gym consistently, and weed is stopping you from doing that, then you have to set goals for yourself. Not just little goals that you set up in your head, you have to write them down and put it on your fridge or your phone background. Like it has to be set in stone rules that you actually have to follow. And if you don't follow it, then there's really no point to the rules. So you have to follow these rules. Whether it's no bad foods, you have to work out first before you smoke, you have to get that out of the way. Or you have a rule like you have to do something productive after you smoke. Write them down and remind yourself of them every single day. Tip number two, and I think this is so important, this is finding a strain that works for you. A lot of people, you know, they get a bad strain and it makes them paranoid or sleepy or whatever the case may be and they just don't want to smoke anymore and their view of marijuana is, you know, just all bad things. But you have to find a strain that works for you. I'm pretty sure there's millions of strains nowadays. What I like to do is to get like a gram. I don't even like to smoke the flower that much, but when I do, I like to get a gram of like five different strains and try them out and see which one is perfect for me. I also noticed, now that we're talking about this topic, is the weed nowadays is so like just genetically, scientifically strong. 
and especially in the United States because I went to like you know Bahamas and, and uh, places like that and the weed isn't even as close to how it is here. I could smoke a whole blunt or a joint in Bahamas and it'll be like a good like chill high. But I have one hit of a bowl of a tiny little bit of weed here and I'm just like blown. Like I'm not sitting in a chair. I am the chair. I put weed guys like it's crazy. So like for me that's too strong. You know I'm not into that anymore. But yeah find a strain that works for you. And the great thing about having a medical card is you could go into the dispensary and you could ask him, hey, like, you know, I want to have an appetite. I want to also be able to sleep and be productive. And you could like, it's, it's medicine. So you could name the stuff that you want and you could get and find a perfect strain. Tip number three, if you're worried about eating bad, this is a huge thing that a lot of people come to me about. They're like, all I do is eat, you know, I have munchies and I eat a bunch of bad foods. Don't buy the bad foods. If it's, if there's nothing in sight, most likely, when you smoke, I mean, you're just gonna, you're gonna be doing what you're doing here. You're not gonna go out and buy a bunch of bad foods. And if you do, I mean, you have no self-control and you shouldn't be smoking in the first place if it affects you that much. If it literally takes away from the goals that you wanna reach. So don't buy any, any of those bad foods. You could use it as a tool to eat more. So if you're struggling to eat, then use it as a tool to eat more. Not bad foods, whole healthy foods. You cannot get your body squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. You could use weed as a remedy for muscle soreness. And I do this all the time. I have my little dab pen, my little wax pen, and you know, anytime I'm feeling sore or after a workout, it's amazing. I use it as a remedy. You could also use it as a reward. So what I like to do, pretty much the only times, if I'm getting high, high, the only time I'll do that is if all my work is done, I feel like I was super productive throughout the day, there wasn't any times where I was sitting around doing nothing, I hit all of my goals, or most of all my goals, and I used it as a reward for myself at the end of the day. And that way there's no guilty feeling. You're not sitting there regretting it and upset about it. And it's a healthy tool that you're using for yourself, a healthy tool helping you to hit your goals. Okay, so my last tip would be give it up if it's pushing you farther and farther away from your goals. And it's something that I had to do. It's not something that I necessarily needed, but what I needed to do was to drop that toxic thing out to make room for my goals. If you're someone who can smoke and stay productive, or if you don't really care about your goals, then obviously keep smoking and doing what you're doing. But for me, I had to drop out a lot of things in my life to be able to hit my goals. You're really gonna have to sacrifice those things for the time being. So that's pretty much all the tips that I have for this video. I know there was one more, and if I remember it, I'll put it in the description or I'll mention it in another video. I had two in my mind that I didn't write down. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm really just trying to educate and share my knowledge and grow with you guys. And um, yeah, I'm really happy to be bringing this video to you guys. So thank you guys so much. Make sure to follow me on my other social medias because I post there every single day. And I hope to see you in my next video. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Bye.